What is going on guys? It is Fitzmiller back here with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to put any car on washers. We're going to be using the front coils of this Miata today to show you guys how, but it's all the same. So we're getting ready to go get the materials, come back, and let's get right into the video. Alright, so you guys just saw, we got the car in the air. These are the washers we're using. Of course that's backwards on camera, but part number is 03830. They're half inch washers. And I don't know if 3LL is the size, but that's that's what we're using. So here's what they look like. They're yay big. You can just take your coil apart and take that into your hardware store to figure out what goes over the little valve strut thing. I'm gonna be doing one side, she's gonna be doing the other. We're gonna wake up after this video is done and the car's gonna be in washers. So let's get right in the video. Step one, take off the wheel. Next, we're gonna start taking out the coil. There's a 17 mil bolt right there and a 17 on the other side. You're gonna hold one side with a wrench and you can ratchet out the other side of the bolt. I'm holding the wrench on this side and she's gonna impact the other side off. Just like that, take the nut out. Make sure you grab the washer as well. Got the bolt from the other side. This will be loose. Let's go up top and loosen the top two bolts. Next, we're taking off the top of these top hat bolts. What we're gonna do, there's a nut right there and a nut right there. That side's a 13 for some reason, that side's a 12. Bing bong. So what we're gonna do is you put any bar, I'm using a lacrosse stick, between the frame right there, over the top of this arm, and you're gonna press down and then pull the coil out. Yay! Holy shit! And that's the easy way to get a Miata coil out. Once you have the coil over out of the car, for these coils, you need to take the dampening knob off. Uh, we're gonna use just some pliers to, to unscrew it, and then you'll have access to the locking nut. Just like that. So next up, you're gonna take a 19 millimeter wrench for the nut on the top hat, and then I'm using a T30. I'm pretty sure it's actually just a six point bit or a star bit, whatever you want to call it. And then you want to ratchet this nut off of the top hat. It's gonna come off here. Ooh, fuck! So then you take your top hat off and there will be like a little plastic sleeve. There's a washer right where this ring is. Your spring, another thing, and then your bump stop. So what we're gonna do is put the washers below the bump stop Put the bump stop back on and one thing we're going to make sure to do is put this washer back right there because that's what the top hat sits on next you're going to count out all your washers we're doing 10 and you want to make sure they're all facing the same way so 10 washers on and then we're also going to be using the bump stop and now we put the coil back together now since we're doing this on coilovers we're not gonna have to add or remove washers, so you're gonna err on the lesser side of washers, lesser amount of washers. If you're doing this on stock struts, you're gonna wanna add or remove washers to change your height. But like I said, with these, we're gonna be able to adjust it with the shock body. Now you put the coil back together. And you take your locking nut. Now you're gonna put it on the same way you took it off with the 19 mil and the Torx bit. And you wanna make sure you tighten this on just as tight as it was when you took it off. The coil is ready to go back in the car. Now we're back over here at the car. We gotta set the coil back into, I guess, behind the hub area. I'm gonna press the whole assembly down using the jack handle, set this in there, and then we'll go up top and tighten the two bolts first. Now we put these two little top hat nuts on. You're gonna wanna start them by hand. You can hand tighten them all the way to the bottom, and then from there, you're going to impact them on. Now we're back here at the bottom of the coilover. This is going to be the hardest part because we have to line up all of these circles to put the bolt through coming towards the camera. This will just take some time, wiggling all of this down, and then threading the bolt through, putting the locking nut on the back side, and ratcheting it all down. I actually had to loosen the two top hat bolts up there to be able to turn this whole shock body around. This side of the bottom of the coil is angled up and in. So you wanna make sure this is facing the right way. 
and then it'll slide right into place. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna tighten up the top hat bolts and then put the bolt through the bottom and then this side will be done. Next, once you get this long bolt threaded through the bottom of the coil, you're gonna put the locking nut on. Once you got it threaded down by hand far enough, you're gonna put your wrench on this side and then you can ratchet down the opposite side of the coil. Okay, now we're gonna mirror everything that we did on this side, on the other side, and let it down on the ground, and we'll show you guys when we're done with that. Side number two, all done. Time to put the wheels back on the car and put this thing on the ground. Now for the last part is putting the car on the ground. We got the wood, we're gonna take the jack stands out, then we gotta torque down all the lug nuts. Damn, you tucking. All right, guys. So while that looks cool, that tire is sitting on the frame. So we're gonna jack this thing up, raise it, get it to where, you know, there's enough gap where it won't touch the frame. And uh, we're gonna take this thing out. <laughs> that looks crazy though. Those are 14s, man. All right, time to raise these, put it back on the ground a little in a second. Let's do it. All right, guys, well, here is the final product. She's definitely, she's definitely a lot lower. Shout out for like just letting me watch this time. What do you guys think? Would you guys put your car on washers? It is temporary. She wants to get Broadway's just next. <laughs> she has to put this thing up because of insurance uh, this winter. Barely see light at the other side, but this, this is low. This is how you do it. So yeah, I mean, I hope you guys learned something from tonight. Hope you guys were able to take something away from this video. And that's gonna be it. We are tired. We've had all sorts of problems off camera that you guys did not get to see. But anyways, this has been Fitz and Emmy. Oh, hey. Back here with another video. And we'll see you guys in the next one.